Patient safety is a really huge problem. Uh, costs the NHS around about five billion pounds a year. So what we're doing about this, we've developed a system called a patient status engine. Because one of the things you can do to improve patient safety is look after your patients better. So we want to monitor patients, but we monitor patients with new technology, new wearable technology, which allows them to be totally free. No cables, no constraints to the bed, they can be in hospital, they can be at home, and at all times they're being monitored almost as if they were in an intensive care ward with that degree of intensity of resolution in the monitoring system. The system becomes really low cost, so it becomes better quality than what's out there at the moment, becomes very affordable. So in being able to do that, we then see that what we've created here is a system which is giving doctors and nurses information about their patients right now, but actually more importantly, is able to give them information about their patients in the future. Sounds like science fiction, but it really isn't. What we're doing is creating enough or collecting enough data from the patients and by being able to measure, we can then use mathematical modeling techniques. We can then model and make predictions from those models. In other words, we can make predictive algorithms which then allow clinical folks to have early warning of what might happen to their patients in the future. So how long is that? Well, sometimes it can be one hour in the future, sometimes it can be one day, or in some cases one week. But we get this in such a way that once a doctor or a nurse or a team of carers has this kind of information, they can be proactive rather than reactive in healthcare. And it's in that aspect of it, being able to be proactive, being able to organise time better, being able to see things before they happen, that you can reduce costs and boy, can you really, really improve the outcome for patients.